Hey everyone, Tom here with another weekly Stone Hearth update. Alpha 4 is out there, so you can get it from our website, stonehearth.net, if you've pre-ordered the game, or you can pre-order today if you really want to. Uh, this week, I figured I would just walk you through some of the new things in Alpha 4, some of the things that maybe you've missed, and along the way, since I can't really help it, um, you're going to see some of the things that we've been working on since then. And our plan is to put out a patch release to Alpha 4 to address some of your more pressing concerns and requests uh, quickly, much faster than the gap from Alpha 3 to Alpha 4. So let's get to it. So first thing, if I make a new game, we now have two game options. One is the normal game, where you will be faced with a variety of threats, goblins, things like that. And then we have the peaceful game option, where it's total sandbox, there is no combat, and you're free to just build forever. Uh, so let's go with normal, just for fun. The map is pretty much the same. Mostly I'm going to be stepping you through the way the UI works. We had a big UI overhaul in Alpha 4 and we've had a pretty big focus on making it easy to play and quick to play, but you have to know the tricks. Okay, so, mm, Greenwood sounds good. Okay, so first thing, um, of course we have hotkeys, so I can hit one and have everyone harvest and let's get them going and doing something while I'm making a stockpile, whatever else. Okay, so you can see the hotkey for all the keys if you mouse over them. So these all, guys all have, you know, one through six. If I want to click my citizens, it just hit four. Easy stuff. Uh, let's build a building. So to do that, you can see I could go three and then there's uh, the des building designer is on C, but uh, it, you can hit any of these buttons anytime you want. You don't have to use the menu like this. So I can just hit C. Ooh, wait, hold on. Mm. Ooh, a hoe. That's great. Farms for free. So if I want to quickly build a desi uh, design a building, I can just hit C, right? And jump in there. And let's do something really simple. Just to prove a point. Do do do. Right, so. Mm hmm. -hmm. A couple of windows. Okay, looks good. Start building. Now I just got a hoe, so I'm going to want to build some farms. I can just hit F and jump directly to uh, the farm UI. And the way that dragging out regions works is you, you guys know, you drag to make a region, um, pick a crop, let's go with some turnips, and then you, know, you can keep using this tool, it stays active. When you're done, a lot of you guys know are hitting escape, you can also just right click, right? Right click kills the tool. Um, so there we go. So now we can promote someone to a farmer and get jamming on those far on that farm. Uh, so let's just go for Pen. Pen, you are the farmer. Congratulations. Right, and that works for everything. So if I want to make a bunch of stockpiles, um, I could use the menu. No problem doing that, right? Or from anywhere, I can just hit O, which is a stockpile hotkey, right? And then drag out as many as I want. When I'm done, just right click. I'm done. Hit Escape to get out of this mode one to harvest, right? So um, even though there's this, this sort of two-tiered menu, um, we've built it so that you have quick access to anything, any of the menus, L for ladder, um, just from one key press. Uh, ba -ba yeah, so there we go. So that's pretty much it for this week. Let's try to see if we can speed this up and get that house moving. And you guys need a lunch break. Like I said, we're focused on the near term and getting out an Alpha 4 update. We'll call it like Alpha 4B or something. It's not going to be Alpha 5. It's going to have uh, lots of bug fixes, crash fixes, and interface changes like peaceful mode. And we'll update on you. We'll update you on the progress of that next week. Until then, see you later. <laughs>